Sounds constantly taking us to other places. When you remember something, you have a kind of picture or an impression, which is an image. But for me, it's always sound that takes me to the center of that memory. Well, sound to me is, is what happens in your ears, actually. Some people talk about the sound of the Big Bang or the sounds of things in the universe. To me, those aren't sounds. To me, sounds are something to do with perception. They're something to do with us. Have a vision. Don't just grab the equipment and start editing without thinking. What is the feel of the scene, the atmospheres? You've thought about it. Now you start to select your soundtracks, your sound effects, and you add it to the picture. You look at it, you listen, and so you slowly build up a soundtrack. The image is a feeling, but the sound is the heart of it. All our lives are underscored by this irrevocable, organic soundtrack, whether it's coming from the environment or machines. You know, your everyday life, you move into a supermarket, the song of the freezer cabinets, you know, this sort of humming there. It can be a beautiful thing, actually, when you tune into it. And sound, like, you know, colour is, is underscoring our experience all the time. The texture of the vocal is absolutely key, so we get this very breathy, high-pitched female vocal. There's a lot of texture in that voice. I think people should listen to more what's going on around them. One of the interesting things is, is trying to create environments which um, work with sound in a way that encourage you to listen. And I think why I love coming to universities and um, places like this is often the soundtrack lets down really good work from students and young professionals. The fact the boat suddenly stops makes me think we're in a different place. Okay. If you don't have to, it'd be good just to carry that boat across and it just drifts away. Ele mostrou muito da experiência dele lá do que acontece na grande indústria cinematográfica. E a gente pode mostrar para ele como mais ou menos funcionam as coisas aqui. Foi interessante saber do feedback dele. E isso pode ser usado no próximo trabalho que eu for mixar. Foi ótimo, sei lá, ele me deu umas dicas ali, ele gostou, acho que ele gostou do trabalho. E também gostei de, de escutar o trabalho dos outros alunos, achei bem válido assim, a experiência. Eu consegui com certeza anotar várias coisas e vou levar isso comigo. We want to attract the best talent of Brazil to work with the United Kingdom. We're already doing that in research, for example, where some of the most impactful research in the world has been done between the UK and Brazil. We're doing it in some areas of business, but we'd like to do it in the area of creativity because we think there's a good natural symmetry and click between Brazil and the United Kingdom. This is a very special project for us. It was a project that came with the idea of working together with the British Embassy com o FCO e o UKTI. E a gente espera, então, que nos próximos que a gente consiga trazer mais profissionais, não só desse mercado de audiovisual, mas com outros profissionais de outros setores, do setor de indústrias criativas, para poder enriquecer cada vez mais essa troca de experiência. Ao lidar com algumas instituições como o UKTI, por exemplo, o British Council, que tem muita experiência na promoção de cooperação entre países, a gente poder realmente desenvolver uma expertise na área de fomento à economia criativa e mesmo desenvolver negócios em parceria, de maneira que a gente comece realmente a tirar a economia criativa do papel e botar na prática. Knowledge is always important. This is, you know, a good cultural exchange. You know, there's all sorts of things happening between Britain and Brazil. I think it's exciting for both countries. Any good collaboration is excellent. Excellent. Thank you.